Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics coming to you midweek this week for our, what, our third or fourth Wednesday Rewind. So we're here again reintroducing you to some fabrics that we've had for a little while and we think you might have forgotten about. So we're going to go through them again, see if we can find any more threads or coordinating fabrics that might go with them. And we're going to offer them to you at a reduced price for Wednesday only. So tuck in, get yourself a cup of tea uh, and you can see if uh, you remember some of these fabrics, um, if they are for you or if they're not and just learn about them again. So the first one that I have, and this is actually a little series of um, fabrics because we're going to do all the colours, it's the Broken Stripes jersey that we have. So let me show you up close. So we call it a broken stripe because of that line in the middle. This one, 64% rayon, 17% poly, 15% cotton, 170 GSM. It's a great t-shirt weight fabric. Um, it is lovely and light and cool to wear in summer. Let me pull it out for you. I might actually be able to see the print a bit better there too. So let's have a look at this stretch. Lovely stretch. Both ways, beautiful drape. So I've used it in this t-shirt here and I've used it with the black and the porcelain 250 GSM modal. So this modal is quite a bit heavier than um, the Broken Stripes fabric. But it's about, it's a similar thickness and it actually works really well with this t-shirt. So I just use the, um, I think it's the Cuff Dolman by Little Kiwi's Closet. And I just kind of cut and slashed and, um, and made it the way that I wanted it to be because I wanted to have a couple of other colours in there with it. A grey would have been really nice with it as well. That could have gone in too. Um, but it makes a really cute t-shirt and I do have a dress out of another one. So I posted those, this one and the dress yesterday. So you can see how they both work. Um, they're both draped beautifully. To me, it's a perfect t-shirt fabric or, uh, you know, even a t-shirt style dress fabric. It doesn't mean that it has to be just that, um, but it's really good for those sorts of garments. This pink goes with um, 1651 thread color. We're currently out of stock with that one. We do have some more coming, um, but it is out of stock at the moment. But if you happen to have that in your stash already, that's perfect. All right, so this one goes really nicely with the pink bamboo uh, and smoky rayon modal. And I've just seen I also have silver written down here, which is double brush poly, but I've forgotten to pick up the card. Sorry about that. Dropping the ball. Um, but I think there might be... No, there's not a photo of that on the website. Anyway, it's a lovely grey. It looks really good. Okay, so this is pink broken stripes. We also have it in this mint. So we're going to get my face out of it and then I'll focus on the fabric. So the mint is really pretty. I love this peach. It's a gorgeous colour. Sorry, the lines do go horizontally. And then the last one is red. I'm a lover of red and I have made a dress out of this red. And it was a bit of a... Um, Pattern Emporium mash. It was a little bit of the Entice Me, but most of the um, Every Me tank dress. It's a great dress on a hot day. It's really lovely to wear on a hot day. It's just a really nice fabric. Um, if it's sweltering outside, it's a pretty good choice. Okay, so hang on, I've got some coordinates to show you. Uh, okay, the red we put with. Cupid, which is a round modal, and also red ponty. So we put those ones together. All right, sorry, I nearly skipped through. Hang on, I'm still doing it. Two zero five four. We'll get there eventually. I'll do my job properly. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is this 
peach. I was looking at it on the website and it actually looks quite a bit darker in the photo on the website. It's not a good reflection of the colour, unfortunately. This is a, I'm seeing a pretty true reflection of the colour here, um, but it is coming up darker on the website. Okay, most of the time we can get the colours sorted, but sometimes it is quite tricky to get that accurate colour. We do work quite hard to get the right colour. We do some adjustments if we need to, to get a true reflection. Sometimes it's harder than others. Okay, so that is all of the Broken Stripes jersey. So we've got four different colours in that and they are all available for a reduced price on um, Wednesday, the 25th of October. Now let's have a look at some prints. The first one we've got for you, I think you're really going to like. You've seen this print um, over a few different fabric bases and a few different colour options. So this is Carmen in navy. And this is a Liverpool. So let me open it up for you. It's just gorgeous. The colours in it. Um, and Liverpool is such a favourite fabric um, for so many of you out there. It's so lovely to sew. So let me hold that up back here. It's got some really pretty colours through it. It's a really gorgeous print. So Liverpool, I'm not sure if you can see that slightly crepey texture on the outside there. I'm not sure if it's really coming up actually. Uh, Liverpool has a slight crepey texture on the outside and then it's lovely and smooth and soft against your skin. It has a little bit of thickness to it. Uh, lovely and forgiving. It's great for dresses, tops, beautiful pants out of Liverpool. You could do shorts out of Liverpool as well. Great skirts. It has really good horizontal stretch but it doesn't have much going on vertically. So do keep that in mind when you're choosing your pattern. If you're not sure, if you'd really like to sew up Liverpool, but you're not sure what you can make or what pattern you can use, if you go into our Facebook group, which is Lush Fabrics and then Australia in brackets, um, and if you just search within the group and you just search up Liverpool, you'll see a heap of makes that people have created so it's quite inspiring when you do that and it can really give you some great ideas. All right, Carmen in navy, I put with 3356 and we've matched it up with mustard, French terry. The mustard is down there. There we go, I'm on tiptoes. And Chantilly rayon modal. And then a tinge of pink which is a modal, which is a lovely light pink. And what else have we done? Dark peach. This is a new one. So some of these matches are new. Some of them you'll see photographed up on the website, but some you'll only see here. So um, if there's anything that you like, you can see how they go together here. Dark peach. We did have peach, but we've sold out of that one, but I actually think dark peach goes really well with it. And then the last one is Wine Bamboo. Let me dress myself again. There we go. Wine Bamboo for the darker colours in here, which is really beautiful too. All right, Carmen in Navy Liverpool. Gorgeous print, really great fabric base. It's really nice. All right, next, I have some embroidery anglaise for you. This one we have called Mauve. It is a very dusty pink, um, but it seems American call a lot, Americans call a lot of pinks Mauve. So we've obviously just gone with our supplier name on this one. To us, this is very much a dusty pink. So Broderie on Glaze is a DTY fabric, which is just a poly knit. Um, it, there's no brushing or anything. It's it's quite smooth except for the embroidering of course it's on here they are holes that are in this fabric most people from my experience when they make themselves a top out of this fabric they don't necessarily line it they don't really need to line it they can wear it no problem just with a skin tone bra um, on underneath and they feel quite secure a dress is a little bit different. A dress, you probably need even just a half slip underneath just for that little bit of modesty. 
but it looks gorgeous on up for summer and of course lovely and cool with that little bit of built-in air conditioning so there is your horizontal stretch little bit going on vertically not heaps gorgeous drape now this one as well i couldn't find a matching thread but i think 1651 which is out of stock is probably the one that i would choose to go with this one no coordinating fabrics because it is a solid color itself okay now double brush poly this one is called red haze it's got some really pretty colors in it it's a nice black background and then it's got these cute colors going on in the flowers there I'll bring it back here so you can see it so though it's a dark color it's kind of a little bit summery it's also a little bit Christmassy if anyone is looking to sew anything up for the big day so double brush poly is beautiful and soft to the touch it feels gorgeous it's got really great stretch it won't grow on you during the day you can make so many different garments with double brush poly it's fantastic and it comes in a great range of solid colors and a great range of prints like this one okay we have put this with thread 4000 of course a black thread and then we've matched it up with bright red double brush poly amazing if you did want to do a christmas outfit with this one um, this isn't particularly seasonal but i thought it looked quite nice with the firecracker brushed waffle probably a bit hot for that at the moment but um, if you're traveling or anything um, over Christmas it might be quite nice okay so red haze double brush poly one more for you the last one that we have for today is a tri blend tri blend um, again it's like a t-shirty weight perhaps a little bit thinner this is a thin fabric but it is nice for a t-shirt in summer or a t-shirt style dress in summer. This is Red Stars. Uh, this is 50% poly, 37% cotton, 13% rayon. So there's three um, fibers in it, hence the tri-blend in its name. It is 130 GSM, so it is lovely and light. So on those really hot days, it's really nice to wear. In a little t-shirt, as I said, or a dress, um, I've actually made some sachet shorts out of the other colorway of this one um, for sleeping in in summer uh, and they're really nice as well and that holds up just fine and they don't just have to be for sleeping in I was just looking for something nice and light um, so I sewed that one up all right there is your horizontal stretch not much going on vertically and there's your drape very hard to find a coordinating thread when it's got this mottled texture to it um, it kind of softens the color and it makes it really hard to find a match so I don't have a matching thread we have put it together with white bamboo which looks really nice all right that's the last one that we have for today red stars tri blend hopefully there's something that you like in there um, we have um, a competition running for our Wednesday Rewind as well. So um, it's just in our Facebook group. And if you tag somebody else, um, then both you and the person you have tagged are in the running for a $25 gift card each. Um, the tag has to be someone that's in the group. Uh, if you don't know any sewing people, you can tag anybody in the group. Um, it's just so that we can get people uh, or make people aware that we're doing this Wednesday Rewind thing um, and let as many people know as possible just so that we can keep running it and make sure that it's worthwhile. So there are some vouchers up for grabs there. These are all on our website um, under the Wednesday Rewind tab on our website which is www.lushfabrics.com.au So do take advantage of those reduced prices that we have today um, I'll be back again on Sunday with some new fabrics for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.